All right, Big Al, thank you. Safety on the trails. That's what Arizona State Park leaders want hikers to prioritize as we enter the hottest months of the year. None of your sites. Megan Meyer joins us live with more on their message. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, Lydia. Catalina State Park is a popular attraction for both residents and visitors here in Southern Arizona, but the trails can quickly become dangerous during days of extreme heat. Rising temps aren't discouraging hikers from exploring Southern Arizona. It's so beautiful and it's the closest place from where I live that I can just really get into nature. Visitors can choose from eight trails here at Catalina State Park, but during the summer months, hikers have to think ahead. Wear nice, loose uh, clothing that uh, wicks the perspiration a little bit and uh, shorts here. You probably can't see on the camera, but I'm actually wearing shorts, so that uh, keeps the legs cool. And always, uh, we always carry water. Always got to make sure you hydrate. Every year, hikers underestimate the power of extreme heat, leading to numerous emergency rescues. Arizona State Parks put out a message on how to stay safe. They recommend drinking plenty of water, traveling with a group, wearing light clothes, and of course, applying lots of sunscreen. Early is good. Early, earlier. Or do early it early, good. wear hats, bring water, take your sunscreen, wear long sleeve shirts. Catalina State Parks opens at 5 a.m. each day. When it comes to summer hiking, officials say the earlier, the better. A lot of people come, but you don't feel like it's crowded. And these mountains, oh my gosh, they're incredible. Dogs are also allowed at Catalina State Park, so it's important to remember that they too will need extra water and rest during those hot days. Lydia, 